Imagine this for a second. The day is 2005, you're listening to music on your new iPod Nano, you're messaging your friends through text, and you're Googling stuff on the internet while you're at home, because that's the only way to access the internet. And this keeps happening. Mom! Stop using the phone! Fast forward to this day where you have all of those things in the palm of your hand at once or in this small package. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna to be talking about the evolution of how far tech has come. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, Luigi here. I'm back with another tech video and Today is going to be a fun video. It's all about the evolution of tech. The other day I was doing some cleaning, college spring cleaning, and I bumped into this beautiful device, a iPod Nano. It's a four gig iPod Nano. This thing holds up to 4,000 songs, I believe. And it made me think about how far tech has actually come. This thing came out in 2005. 16 years ago. 16 years ago, we didn't even have an iPhone yet. And most smartphones, if you want to call them smartphones, weren't really that good. You could barely access the internet. If you access it, then you will be charged a lot of money for it. So everybody was panicking. The only thing that was a kind of a smartphone and has some decent messaging uh, software and app was the Blackberries at the time. They were the thing, they were the boom. But fast forward to today where you literally have everything in the palm of your hand. You have millions and millions of songs on Spotify. You have access to thousands of movies and series on Netflix. And you can take amazing pictures with literally this little camera right here, which is absolutely insane. Some of them have two, three, even four cameras in one single phone. This thing, can barely show you an image, barely, in color. It was actually pretty good, but barely. So that's kind of like how I'm so amazed about it. On Twitter the other day, the basic Apple guy posted on Twitter this picture, which was pretty much the, you can see the Motorola Dynatac alongside the Game Boy, where as old, which is 16 years old, as the iMac G6 release in 2005, as this iMac for us is today which means that that iMac is 16 years old to us now, which is absolutely bizarre. And then now the Dynatac or the Dynatech and the Game Boy are 32 years old to us, which is absolutely insane. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, so you're notified next time a video comes out. We're really close to hitting 100 subscribers and I really want to hit 100 subscribers before the end of the month. So let's get to it. One of the things that really surprised me with how far tech has come is literally the difference, first of all, in like the display size. So like, obviously if you see this, this is a 5.6 inch display, I believe. This is, looks like a one inch display, maybe, maybe a little smaller, maybe a little bit bigger, which is almost pretty much as big. This, just the screen of this, is as big as some of the camera bumps. Obviously not as big as this one, but if you look at some of the newer phones, that are about, they have four cameras in them and they have massive camera bombs. They're pretty much as big as this screen, which is absolutely insane. So this screen is pretty much the back of a phone nowadays. And what I was saying before, it's amazing because this thing can hold up to maybe 4,000 songs, but the way you access it, you had to plug it into your computer uh, sync it into your iTunes, wait about 48 hours for like 10 songs to go into this and then that's those are the songs that you have on there for the rest of your life and then you can go and listen to it but now you literally are on this phone you can go into Spotify start listening to a song right away pretty much with zero latency you don't have to wait so if you have great internet you have to wait absolutely zero seconds so just listen right from the get-go which is absolutely insane and like I said I'm getting really excited here but it's because when I was doing research for this video and trying to put things together it's really amazing how far things have come and, and it's really hard in tech because sometimes you see year after year phone after phone iPhone after iPhone or Samsung after Samsung 
that, that they haven't changed as much. You sometimes seeing is like, oh, they're actually just the same phone, a little bit more expensive with the same design or maybe a different design. But when you look at it in this bigger spectrum of 2021 and 2011 or 2001 or 2005, it's really a massive difference. So like I said before, in 2005, this would be the one of the only ways to listen to music, unless you had a CD player or a Walkman. Uh, the only way to access the internet was at home or on a laptop and you had to plug it into the internet. And obviously you couldn't use the phone because you had this freaking sound. <laughs> Absolutely annoying, right? And obviously the only way to communicate with your friends was either calling them or texting them. Or if you have a Blackberry, you can uh, drop them a pen or drop them a message. But that, that was about it. You didn't have much, uh, Facebook didn't really work really well. I didn't think Facebook was out at the time, to be fair. But yeah, it's really amazing how far tech has actually come, which makes me really excited for the future. And it makes me really excited to see how far tech will keep growing or how far tech will eventually uh, move forward. Especially with all the new things coming out. Obviously new cameras keep coming out with better sensors. Phones keep coming out with better specs, better displays, better cameras. Uh, you get like new electric cars like the Teslas, like the Porsche, and many other uh, cars are like really pushing on the technology side. And it's just really amazing how things really progress and keep evolving all the time. And that's kind of like, that's the reason I'm actually want to be pushing this channel into more tech. And I'm gonna be pushing this channel into more tech videos because I really enjoy how tech works. I really enjoy all the gadgets, all the, all the phones and different ways of um, engaging with the technology nowadays, hopefully using it in a good and healthy environment. But right, that really is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had fun with this video. I'll be coming back with more tech videos really, really soon and getting my hands on onto a brand new device really soon. So stay tuned for that video. But other than that, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel and really helps grow this thing into a much bigger thing that I think it might be. But hopefully, Yes, hopefully we're going to get some great tech coming into this channel really, really soon. But that's all for me today, guys. Have a great day, have a great week, and I'll see you guys in the very next video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.